Hi, uh, my name is Mia Hoy. Today I'm doing a bit of cold reading. Um, now, I have been given three monologues to look at and um, so far I have only seen a summary of one, which is Martin Crimp's The City uh, with the character Jenny. Um, I literally got these today. I haven't read the summary of either one. Um, I'm planning to read all three of the plays and then redo these monologues when I know more about the play. Um, but so far what I can gather from the summary that I got from the city is it's about three characters who are struggling to str struggling to live their life in a society which in their view is crumbling. Um, they all seem to have something against each other. Um, it seems that the couple in this story have something against their neighbour Jenny who is a nurse at a hospital and Jenny has something against the um, husband in the couple although I'm not quite sure why I think it's probably because he can be perceived as a little bit of a peeping Tom um, he watches her get unchanged um, and and that's a bit creepy and the wife of the husband doesn't love him anymore and seems to seek affection outside of her marriage although I'm not quite sure whether she ends up doing that in the play but anyway this is uh, me cold reading Martin Grimm's um, The City which was published in 2008 uh, and this is Jenny I'm Jenny I've told you who I am. We're neighbours. You've probably seen me getting into my car or like your husband over there watching me in the mornings taking off my uniform when I've driven back totally exhausted from the hospital at a time when most people are getting up and listening to the radio while having their breakfast. In fact, I could probably fall asleep there and then, but what I like to do instead is curl up on a chair with a nice piece of toast and a nice egg and watch one of those old black and white films on TV. Today, for example, there was one where Humphrey Bogart pretends to be in love with Audrey Hepburn, but ends up loving her. Really and truly loving her. After that, well, you probably heard, I like to play piano. I'm not too bad at playing the piano. I took it quite seriously as a child. And I always warm up with scales and things like that. But the funny thing is, is that although I can get all the notes and understand how intensely the composer must have imagined it, there's no life into my playing. Emotionally, it's dead. Because you know what it's like when the sun shines on a TV screen so the picture disappears and all you see is the glass surface of it. Well that's what my playing's like. Hard and colourless. Um, when I first looked, when I first read through this monologue it actually reminded me of the monologue that I have um, been working on with my co-worker which is Many Moons uh, Juniper. She which is a story about a very very lonely girl who's celebrating her birthday by herself um i don't obviously i don't think they're the same character that i think this is somebody who's very frustrated at her life she's um she's feeling run down by her job and the fact that her the fact that her um neighbor likes to watch her get dressed through, through the window she is sort of adding to her frustration feeling like she's not being treated like a human being um i feel like these people have been neighbors for quite some time but have just never spoken because of timing because obviously if she's get if she's got late shifts then you're not really going to bump into anybody really early in the morning um 
I also feel like she's starting to have a bit of an existential crisis halfway through. Um, especially when she starts talking about uh, when she takes piano seriously. Um, she, I think at first she's going, oh yeah, I play piano and you, you can probably hear it. Um, almost as if to go, I'm sorry if that's disturbing you. Um, but then halfway through she goes, I've been doing this since I was a kid and it, I should feel passionate about it, but I'm not. I feel empty even when I play an instrument in, that I'm supposed to feel passionate about because I've done it since I was a child. Because in a way, instruments, things like music and playing an instrument, exercise and watching a film can be viewed as meditation and the fact that when she plays an instrument that she's played for her whole life you almost expect her to go oh and it's like a release from reality or it's a, like a, a form of meditation but she doesn't she just goes I play it but I don't feel any emotion towards it she Take, she it's like she's realizing she hasn't got a passion for that and then she's questioning herself on why she plays the piano um i need to read the rest of this play this monologue has really really intrigued me and i would love to know more about the jenny character um i don't know whether she lives by herself or not but, but from this monologue i feel like she does because she hasn't got, she doesn't say, oh, um, you know, when I get home, I sit down and watch an old black and white film on the TV while I eat my breakfast, and then my wife or my husband walks down the stairs and gives me a kiss and goes off to work. She doesn't say anything like that. She seems to be solidly alone, which is where I see the similarity between her and Juniper because Juniper's very, very... Although Juniper's surrounded by people all the time, she is very alone. Um, like I said, I really need to read this play. This was sort of my first interpretation of it and what I think of the character. Um, the other monologues that I will be looking at is uh, Carol Churchill's Escaped Alone from 2016, um, a monologue where she talks about cats and Samuel Beckett's Happy Days from 1961. Um, like usual, there there will be a um, there will be more description in the link below in the description below. Uh, thank you for watching, and good night.